And if you're just watching, we are chatting live with Stephen Monaco. He's the author of Insightful Knowledge. Uh, you can send us your comments. Um, you can tweet us. Uh, if you tweet at Sarah Midmo, um, I'll get it um, right in my f fancy uh, little uh, glass device, and we're able to ask those questions um, on the air as well. You can also join our Hangout. So multiple platforms, you know, you know um, we Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Vine, Tumblr, I mean, it, the, the list goes on and on. How do businesses know where to start? And, and do they need to be in all, of, in all of those different spaces? That is a great question, Sarah. That's probably the question I get asked um, the very most. And the answer is that you need to develop a strategy before you do anything. The, the senior management should have a strategy in place that they developed at the beginning of the year or whenever they sit down and decide what are our goals going to be? You know, we're, we're here, we're trying to get here and at the midway point, we'll be able to measure and see, are we ahead of schedule? Are we behind schedule? And this is key to social media and social media marketing is that every single thing you do, I mean, literally every single thing you do in social media should be specifically tied to a business objective of the mm -hmm. companies everything you do. And that means tactics follow strategy like they should in any business endeavor. Strategy comes first and then tactics come next. Most companies do the opposite. They put the cart before the horse and they learn about Vine, for instance, or something like that, or Pinterest, like, oh, we gotta be on there. And then they just start posting, you know, little six second videos or posting pictures to Pinterest. But to what purpose, mm -hmm. to what end? So, you know, when I deal with companies, and they ask that question, I mean, to rein back, you know, pull, pull things back and talk about what's the strategy? What's the goal? What are you trying to do? What's the overarching goals? What are the secondary goals? Then you determine the platforms to get on and where you can get traction and where you can amplify the, the messages that tie your business objective, I'm sorry, business objectives and go from there. Because it doesn't make sense to be on all of them necessarily at all. Mm -hmm. So you just, you decide on a case by case basis because every company is unique and their goals and objectives are unique. Even from year to year, they, you know, your goals and objectives change. You always hear or, or, or read um, instances and use cases out there of businesses that aren't using social media and are doing just fine. So does it matter, um, you, you know, make the, the case for social, do businesses out there need to be building their social media footprints now? Absolutely. They might be doing fine without social today, but if they're interested in long-term success, they absolutely need to be using social media marketing as part of their mix. And that's not just my opinion. There's a lot of research and studies that have gone into that. One that I like to speak to is a, a study done by McKinsey and company. They used their own internal staff and did an exhaustive three year study that they published in 2010. It was called what's what comes next, mm -hmm. the five principles of change. And it was a, a fascinating piece of research. And it said that looking ahead to the next decade, in the early part of the next decade, 2022, 2023, just 10 years from now, they insist, McKinsey insists that the market leader in any niche of any industry maintaining uh, today, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. in that spot today, maintaining that leadership position 10 years from now is almost no, almost no chance that they will enjoy that top spot. And they won't lose the top spot to the competitor that they get up every morning and, and go head to head with. It'll be someone that isn't even on their radar and they didn't even know existed, who came in beneath the radar with some sort of technology that left them in the dust. Mm -hmm. And the connectivity that comes with social and dialogues that come with well-executed social and listening to customers and consumers and the market has everything to do with why companies need to get that digital footprint out there, you know, start, start now, start small. If you don't know how to do it, you know, start very small and start with a strategy. But I'd say those who wait do so at their own peril.